time. Yeah, I mean, because I think you you gotta have a like if you're talking to the lady. Well, I'm a married man, but if, but back in the day, yeah, if you're talking too. to the lady, it depends on a certain type of woman. Like you know, if I want her to be a little more straight, I might wear the Tims. Oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if I want her, I mean, you know, if I want her to be like a little bougie, but a little hood at the same time, I'm gonna have to rock the Clarks. Yeah. <laughs> but, see, this is what I'm telling you. When you growing up, especially when you are growing up in the in Brooklyn in the eighties and nineties, sometimes you ain't had a choice. You had to wear them Tims because depending <laughs> on what party you went to, them Clarks ain't gonna stop as hard as the Tims. <laughs> You fall to her that 19, no tutorial books. You learn that the present time in my hands another Hey, what y'all waiting on? Click and subscribe. Hit that bell now. Man, I know I said that was my last one, but I have to because yeah, let's shoot, the man. inner New York, uh, the inner uh, New York wannabe out of the St. Louis kid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you honorable New York, man. <laughs> Well, you my segregate brother. You good, son. I got to ask this, though. Growing up, I was on Tim's a lot. Now, I see what Wu-Tang mean with the Clarks. I've been rocking the Clarks a lot. Which one you got, man? Clarks or the Tim's? Which one? Damn. See, you know what? I'm from Brooklyn, so I can say this. I got Tim on one foot and Clarks on the other, son. <laughs> you can't, it depends on the occasion. You feel me? <laughs> Damn, man. I don't know, man. Because salute the ghosts in them. Yeah. Like, talk. Especially when they do it with the dude colors. And you know how, oh, yeah. man. That's a whole culture, but. Oh, my God, dude. I got these, like, uh, brown like suede ones oh man those are like you could dress up with a nice like you know little blazer on have your jeans joint with that with a t you know what i gotta go with wallet i'm a tim dude i was i was the one that i wear tims in the summer with some fly shorts and all that but i gotta go with what the office boy in me is going with the wallabies man rugged exactly. and smooth at the same time yeah, I mean, because I think you you got to have a, like, if you're talking to the lady, well, I'm a married man, but if, but back in the day, yeah, if you're talking too. to the lady, it depends on a certain type of woman. Like, you know, if I want her to be a little more straight, I might wear the Tims. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if I want her, I mean, you know, if I want her to be, like, a little bougie, but a little hood at the same time, I'm going to have to rock the Clarks. <laughs> yeah. This is what I'm telling you. When you growing up, especially when you growing up in the in Brooklyn in the 80s and 90s, sometimes you ain't had a choice. You had to wear them Tims because depending <laughs> on what party you went to, them Clarks ain't going to stop as hard as the Tims. <laughs> So most of the time, our uh, wardrobe was based upon the activity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Yo, if you enjoyed this episode, also uh, join the Dad Cypher Facebook group, YouTube channel, and also we on Twitch and Instagram. And by the way, make sure while you're watching this, you go to fatherhood.com at fatherhoodat19.com and purchase the book. I holla, continue watching. So, you gotta, um, so I, last uh, but not least, how I end the show, I always ask, what's in my dad's, dad's cypher playlist? So, you coming from the Mecca, the home of hip hop, you do my music publishing, you are an MC. Mm -hmm. So, now I gotta know. Who in your top five, man? Who's in your top five? I'm going to let y'all know right now, I'm biased in the mother. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know now. Y'all might not want to know my top five because me being a father <laughs> since 13, I'm going to say me, of course. I'm in my <laughs> okay, okay. You know what right. I mean? Outside of writing books, I've been the artist. That's what probably made the book easy. I've been the artist since like 12, 13, so First, I'm gonna say me, man, and my okay. brothers, because uh, you know, not for nothing. We 
we live just like we live everything else. We live our music. You know That's I mean? so Brooklyn. That's so Brooklyn. Of course you're going to say. <laughs> Jay-Z and them would be mad at me. <laughs> of course you're going to say yourself. Okay. All right. I mean, that, outside, but, of <laughs> outside of you. Outside of me, you know, all humble, all humble. You know what I mean? Outside of me, I got to say Rakim. Definitely. The guy. King. Definitely. Kane for me. Um, Kane over Rockham? Huh? Kane over Rockham? And it, it, fuck. we said we was going to start some comp. Yeah, this is my playlist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I got to hear how this ranking goes. Uh, 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 nah, they go in it. And I want to, I think that should be the next verses if you ask me. But, okay. um, don't don't get it twisted. I know the God MC. I I I know, but Kane inspired me in a lot of ways, man. As an MC, mm -hmm. like they both did, but Kane, I I I, I really rocks with the brother Kane. Um, J of course and Big. Um, Big, like that's for a Brooklyn dude. They like that's go to, but nah, it's not, cause Chris Rock don't really think. Big was if y'all do the knowledge, because wow. Rocky had questionable about Big being in the thing. But when it comes to storytelling, outside of Slick Rick, Big was the next mother. Right. Life after death, the first joint when he doing, I forgot the name of the song, but when homeboy he blinking at home, homeboy turning around holding his daughter, nobody seen that coming in the story. <laughs> that's still that's ill storytelling, man, and mm -hmm. and, and, and you gotta. I say Jay Z only because I I respect come I respect seeing your path and getting to it. You know what I mean? So not only through the music I see it happening in my hood and, and from there. So that's why Jay is in my top five. Not as far as MC, because again I feel Rakim and all of them they took it there and, and Jay got some lyrical joint, but. I don't know. You gotta be more than just the raps for me. It, it embodies a lot. That's what I'm saying. So let me see. I got this straight. So rock. Uh, so Big Daddy Kane one. Mm -hmm. Number two, Rakim. Mm -hmm. Number three, Big. Yeah. Four, uh, Jay. Who yeah. in your five spot? You got Brooklyn. You got. It's, it's, it, 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 no, no, disres no disrespect to Brooklyn, but I'm going to take it to Yonkers on this one. All right. <laughs> all, all pun intended, because <laughs> now, factual, it's just the passion that X had, man. You know what I mean? Like, he, he actually made me enhance my stage presence. Man. I, I could give that credit to X that he's one of the artists that made me enhance my stage presence because you go to a show and the man is walking out holding his Michael Jackson's, holding his ball, <laughs> who want to pay for that? But when I seen X f make people feel the way he felt, I felt that's what I need to embody as an MC. So I'll leave it mm. right there. It's been dope having you on the show, man. Yo, I appreciate like I said, it. Man. To my viewers, dad side of the universe, yo, pick up the book, Fatherhood at 19. Don't be stupid. It opens your third eye. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. I, I really do, man. I'm grateful for you, brother. Everybody in the dad cipher, man. This is what you got to get. This, this is what these conversation and build sessions are about. Thank you for having me, brother. Yo, oh, man, if they, they want to, again, you want to sign a copy, go to fatherhoodat19.com. Fatherhoodat19.com. I scribe you it. I've been practicing my handwriting for a long time. <laughs> so I promise you the, the, the joint will be real flop. Thank you. I'm friend. telling you, in books, it's the new shit. Get on that. You better know it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>